Hello, hello everybody, how are you guys doing? I am, whoa, <laughs> I'm so excited that my phone is flipping all the way around. So I'm just gonna do a quick fat check, but I just wanted to say to you guys that today is a super exciting day and I've got an amazing superstar here with me uh, who I am going to ask a few questions and who I'm gonna, you know, basically share with you guys because she is so wonderful and she's an expert in online businesses and she's helping people all around the world. Her name is Jen. And before I bring her on, I'm just gonna run a quick test to see if everything is working all right. But um, the reason why I asked her to, uh, to jump on a live with me is because she inspires me so much on a day-to-day -day basis. And I really find, and I shared this with her the other day when we were talking, that she's such an inspirational figure for so many people out there. And it's, it's, it's amazing. And that's why I really, really am excited to be here with you guys, to be here with Jen. Hey, Jen, you're, you're on it already. Really cool. I'm um, just doing my check to see if everything's working. Yes, it is working. Perfect. Nice. So we have everything on here. Um, thanks also so much for those of you who commented on my uh, post earlier today about this live coming up. And for those of you who will be watching the replay, super excited to have you guys in the replay as well. Um, and basically the topic of today's talk, today's interview, today's uh, session is really about how everybody can create their online business. And especially today with all the different tools that we have available. Hey Gabor, so cool to have you here. Oh, by the way, as usual, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Let's comment something nice below. It's always really nice to know where you guys are tuning in from uh, and to have a conversation going, to actually allow all of us to learn from each other and to mastermind together and to really allow for all of us to you know, change our lives around. So that's, uh, that's the way how things go here. So basically, yeah, really, really cool to have you guys here. And, and especially right now with all the tools that we have available, we have our phones, we have our, our laptops, and basically that's all we need in order for us to set up a thriving online business. And literally, when I say thriving online business, I mean that you can make six figures, seven figures, eight figures, all from the comfort of your home or from wherever you are. And the way how you do this is by literally helping people and doing things that are fun, sharing your experience, sharing your passion, sharing your skills. Like all these things right now more than ever have become so accessible to us. That is crazy. And I am so passionate about this thing because literally whenever I see, you know, so many different people at our events or whenever, wherever I go, right, wherever, <laughs> it's like sometimes people are really being stuck or really still believing that sometimes things are just the way they are and there's nothing that we can do to change it. But that's not true. Hey, Ruta. Hey, Lina. So cool to have you guys here. But literally anybody can change their lives around. It, it all really, really depends on the moment when you say, hey, right now I'm going to do this. And actually Ruta is an amazing example of that. She's, she's a fabulous woman, lady boss as well. And at some point in her life, doing a lot of different things in business, she's, she's such a kick-ass businesswoman. But basically she made a decision and she said, hey, I'm going to go for this. I'm going to launch this whole new thing. And, and that's the way how it goes. You make that decision. And that's why this lady that I have on today with me is so inspiring because she is like a personification of that action. She's a personification of a someone, literally, that's why I say Wonder Woman, because she's a beautiful person. She's so sweet. She's so active. She's so helping people. Um, she, she has a beautiful, beautiful son named Oscar. Uh, she's literally so dedicated in every single thing that she does that it's 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 so inspiring and sometimes i look at her stuff i see her on my news feed all the time she's going live in her in her special mastermind groups with her online uh her online tribe and she's doing different lives somewhere else and she's running her business and she's running so many other things at the same time and every time i look at her i'll be like am i working hard enough <laughs> i'm just thinking like wow she's amazing but i especially think that she's she's so wonderful because of her mission of helping people. And that's why I, I had a chat with her just, I think a few, I don't know, about a week ago or something. And then she said, you know, she, she really feels that it's time for more people, more moms, more women, more, more men as well, like more people all around the world 
to start being exposed to this stuff and to start understanding that it all comes down to you taking that action. And that's why she's also created an online platform with which she helps people. And actually there's a link somewhere around here. Do check it out. It is magnificent. Her stuff is legit. And literally just click on it. She has a online workshop that she has created free, completely free of charge. This is how passionate she is about helping people. Just click it, just check it out. It's really, really amazing. But without any further ado, I just want to bring this Wonder Woman on. So I'm actually going to click on a thingy right now and I'm going to add, oh, where is this thing? I'm going to add her to the conversation. Um, and bear with me, ladies and gentlemen, because sometimes it takes a little bit of time to find that button. <laughs> okay, I can see, I can add some people. I, huh, but I cannot see adding the person that I want to add. Um, Jen, if you're here with me, could you please um, send a request for joining me on the live? I know I should be able to click somewhere, but it's always, ah, yeah, there we go, amazing coming. Where shall she appear? Shall she appear there or shall she appear there? <laughs> I'm so energetic today. I don't know what's going on with me. So it's such a lovely and beautiful day. Even though the clouds are here, we bring the sunshine outwards, don't we guys? So um, yeah, I can see the process of Jen okay. being added. Hey, Jen, how are you doing? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm fine. <laughs> how are you? Are you okay? Clouds. Yes, I'm hey. absolutely okay. <laughs> Super <laughs> nice to have you here with me. Like I said before, I just wanted to give a massive word of appreciation to you and how you stand as an example for people all across the world of really showing them the way of how they can set up something based on their passion, based on their skills, based on what they want to do online and how you're so dedicated towards helping them. So big thank you to you know your mission and how you're helping people and how you're inspiring me. Uh, and also just um, wanted to say thank you for your time, for jumping on this call with me. And I just want to start off with just, if you can just say a few words about who it is you are. So could you introduce yourself very briefly to the beautiful people on this live today? No worries, will do. Uh, thank you ever so much, Dubai, for the awesome intro. It was, you know, <laughs> brilliant, thank you. Um, so who am I? I am Jen. I'm an international entrepreneur. And my business journey started back in 2012 when I was in Shanghai as an expat. I was out there for seven years. And um, at that time, with my partner, John, uh, we set up the first dedicated indoor cycling studio, a, you know, the, the spinning on the bikes uh, business. And uh, it was amazing. It was such a journey. And it was an incredible um, first step into business. And uh, we were really, obviously, great and also very lucky as well because we were making sort of profit for month one and uh, the expats loved what we were doing and it was such a new concept to, to China, the first ones in Asia, we were to set up our studio. So, yeah, it was amazing. I would say that was my uh, offline business heyday. <laughs> and uh, one turned to two studios and then two turned to three. And then wow. overall, yeah, we ended up um, opening four indoor oh cycling gosh. studios. That's amazing. Yeah. So two were in Shanghai, China, and they're still operating today. Um, we sold them though to facilitate us to move back to England to start a family mm. and um, yeah the other two were in Leeds we don't have them anymore um, but this is why I'm now here because my lifestyle um, permits me to do other things and I'm a mum uh, mm -hmm. as you mentioned I've got a little boy called Oscar who's three and a half he's coming up four in uh, in August nice. and a little entrepreneur <laughs> yeah yeah definitely uh, he's a spin instructor and uh, an entrepreneur in the making for sure wow. uh, the amount of business meetings I've taken him to so uh, a little Richard Branson <laughs> um <laughs> yeah um and yeah he, having children um you know a lot of people will uh, agree it, it does change your life in so many mm -hmm. you know great ways amazing ways and it had to obviously change the way I do my business as well so from this year, January 2019, I did pick up the online business stuff last year, but I was more committed from this year. And yeah, I just want to now show people there's another way of doing business. And yeah. even though I had great successes running my four indoor cycling studios, many highs and many lows, don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. I certainly went through the, uh, the ringer with uh, a few things. Yeah. But so on the whole, um, a really positive experience. But uh, yeah, I basically have now transferred all my offline business skills to online. And uh, I'm now here today 
and I've pivoted my, my services to now helping people set up their first online business because mm -hmm. for me it was all about the freedom you, you, you'll yeah. find and again hello to all the parents out there you, you'll find <laughs> that you know your time is so precious and even more so when you have uh, little ones in your life mm. and you know uh, the businesses that we had at the time just didn't quite facilitate you know the family and the operations of, of running the business so yeah I, I had to change whether I wanted to or not so yeah. now that I've got my online business up and running uh, from burnout to breakthrough it, it gives me that time freedom and that flexibility mm -hmm. to do the school runs to do the shopping whenever you need to be out yeah. and about and then you know I've got my evenings when uh, Oscar's in bed and that's when I catch up my work and then obviously like you and I now it's uh you know lunch time or the kids are at school so this is where mum works yeah. so um yeah for me it's just the best thing um f for me now yeah online mm -hmm. business so beautiful yeah that's, yeah, that's really <laughs> nice well the thing especially also what, what you what you mentioned before as well like the whole how the, the life changes whenever you get you know the blessing of a family and when you know children are running around and <laughs> there's a lot of different things that you have to obviously look after then all, all the more it becomes important that you can actually create and shape your freedom and have mm -hmm. something which and, and to most people this sounds a bit you know like it's too good to be true but that you're actually having a business that you can operate by with, with less time but making a bigger impact and also making more profit than you would before in, in, in a job or in, in, in any other type of business especially because of the fact that you're now leveraging the online space right and with that as well when I said earlier like I see whenever I open my Facebook I see your face <laughs> and I think yeah that's it, it, yeah well that's, that's that's great yeah thank you obviously <laughs> what I'm doing is working but um it, it just suits me and it's completely right you're right it's, it's the keys to leverage off that platform which is called mm. the internet it's mm. it's just an amazing thing that the amount of opportunities there are and actually a little insight to, to the audience here today I started up or, or looked into online business first of all when I was pregnant with um with Oscar Mm -hmm. um, at the time, I was running my third indoor cycling studio, and I could just forecast the change ahead, you know, yeah. uh, Oscar coming and, and whatnot. And I just thought, well, I can't be, you know, getting up at six in the morning, open up my indoor cycling studio with obviously Lisa one in tow would have been a lot more for, for John to do as well. So I was thinking four years ago um, that, yeah, I needed to sort of diversify it and change the way I did business. And actually, I, I joined um, a group called SFM, mm -hmm. which we'll probably talk about a bit later, Six Figure Mentors. And I had a membership with them for about four months. And even though I loved what they were saying and what they were offering, because it's my first introduction to the online world, I had to um, cancel that membership just because I was just nesting. There's too much going on. So if you are out there right now and you're thinking about maybe changing the way you do your business or whether you um, are struggling maybe with your career in, in terms of it hasn't quite panned out the way you wanted and you haven't got too much free time to do anything else apart from your career or apart from your business because you're working weekends and, and evenings and you want to change, then, um, then online business is obviously a very good idea for you. But yeah, what, what, what I'm trying to say is that you do need a lot of time as well to mm. invest in your online business. So mm. even though I picked up that idea four years ago, um, I, I couldn't continue with the, um, the, uh, the education of going online just because my life was just too busy. But the thing is, it's like you need to have the time in order <laughs> to build up a freedom lifestyle business. Yeah. But then, you know, um, uh, reaping the rewards of, uh, you know, the, the flexibility and, and freedom. But yeah, it, it does require a lot of, um, a lot of time up front. So yeah, yeah, I, I could have been maybe in a different place to where I'm now if I continued, but, you know, running that offline studio at the time and, and also having Oscar, it was just too much. So, but now that Os Os Oscar is now old enough, he's at nursery, that gives me more free time. I'm mm. now, you know, um, doing what I've, always wanted to do with the last four years is to really yeah. embark on my online journey and I've been loving mm -hmm. it ever since that's good. so amazing really that's really good but I think what you said just before about um the time investment when you're setting this up I think w because of that and I think that's also the reason why so many people who try this whole you no know, freedom lifestyle business side of things oh, I'm gonna try this or I'm gonna try that and go for different programs and all that stuff is that they 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 try a little bit of everything and they're actually not really guided in the right way because in principle, if you look at it, 
the ways of doing it, and you, you, you know this from experience because you're doing it on a day-to-day -day basis, is that there are just these simple steps that you consistently, and, and mark this word down for those of you who are listening, consistently have to you know, put in place, consistently post, consistently make sure your face appears on everybody's newsfeed, consistently put your programs out there, renew it, make sure that your customers and clients have the best experience, and all these things on a consistent way. But in actual fact, the, the work itself or the steps itself are not that hard. Hard. but sometimes people just need that helping hand and they just need someone to show them exactly like which way to go about it because if you look at it and, and you know this as well it's like once you sit down with a client and when you say okay you have to do this you have to do this you have to do this you may feel like oh my gosh is it that easy can it be true that is that those like simple steps but yes it is true and more so than any traditional business which obviously you've been in as well there's so much less like risk involved there's so much less cost involved like you don't have to rent a space to be able to run your online business it doesn't require a big team basically right now it's, it's more than ever easy for you to set up something which is based around whatever passion you have and with the right guidance which lovely uh, that you provide in your programs you can actually find out that it is pretty simple to go towards that but there's actually one other thing that I want to ask you about, and that's specifically because you're also focusing on helping people who have come from a, let's say, more stressful experience, whether that is with work or, or anything, um, and how they can actually basically turn that around and then use it as their power in order to, you know, go and set up their business. Would you like to say a little bit more about that? Because obviously, especially whenever I, I do these lives on my, on my profile, which I haven't done that much anymore. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to be more consistent on my profile as well, not just my page. But um, yeah, a lot of the time whenever we have these conversations on the lives and stuff, I do notice that some people are saying things like, yeah, I, I really i am looking for change and like the way how things are right now, I feel a little bit stuck and, and how do I do it, right? So what would you say to those people who are actually experiencing a little bit of stress or, or burnout even? Like what, what should they you know, go for? What, what's the simplest thing? Yeah, no problem. So yeah, my company is from burnout to breakthrough. And there's <laughs> my story. I literally went from burnout and then I'm breaking through now to where I actually want to be. So mm -hmm. um, yeah, I, 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 without realizing at the time, had very unhealthy working behaviors. Hands up, bit of a workaholic. And that sounds great <laughs> on, on paper. Yeah, exactly. And, and <laughs> It can be a great trait, you know, the high achiever, the perfectionist, but I've had to learn perfectionism doesn't actually exist. Mm -hmm. And being a high achiever, you're never actually learning how to live and be present in the now because you're always living in the future. You're working on your projects and you're working around the clock because you're so passionate and you're so mm -hmm. eager to make a difference, to make the change, to get the results for your clients, whatever mission that you're on at the time. So um, I was quite up and down for about four years in, in China. It's quite a lonely place to be. But I was basically essentially ignoring all the signs my body was giving me. So mm -hmm. the headaches and, you know, the, the lack of sleep. I didn't quite experience insomnia, but I was so um, excited or, or, you know, maybe a bit sort of stressed out um, in a good way about all the things I had going on, like just setting up all these charity events and, you know, making sure I was getting up in the, early in the morning to do the, the spin classes and replying to all the emails. And, you know, I was just always on, mm -hmm. um, yeah. working like a trooper. And, yeah, like I say, on and off for four years in that sort of working behaviour and pattern. And I ended up getting depressed. And... It, that lasted a few years as well. And I didn't, again, know really what was going on at the time. And I was being misdiagnosed in, in Shanghai. I saw quite a few professionals, LA health professionals. Some people were telling me I had MS. Other people told me I had um, ENT, which, um, sorry, lamprothitis. Went to see an ENT specialist, or an ears, nose and throat specialist. And uh, I was just having these dizzy spells. And my first bout lasted about nine weeks. It was just all the stress mm -hmm. um, that I didn't realise that I was, um, you know, carrying and I was sort of processing in my head. Um, anyway, it took a trip back to the UK to really get to the bottom of it. And basically, I was um, experiencing depression because I just wasn't happy with my lifestyle. I thought I was, actually. But yeah. because the way I was working towards my business at the time, it was making me sick. And I was just working through it because I had so much responsibility. I had to get up. I had to spin. I was physically burning myself out anyway. 
but I was mentally exhausted as well because I was just enjoying it, loving it, but to the point where it was just really debilitating. So after a while, my body's trying to give me all these signals and I'm ignoring all the headaches and, you know, um, all the other sort of conditions that cropped up, like especially the, uh, the lampothitis. It, going back to lampothitis, it's like being on a boat constantly and I was physically sick with it for nine weeks. And then I knew that I was having to um, change the way I work um, again if it came on again. And it would just continue for weeks. Like, non- like it was just, ugh. Anyway, um, I had depression. So obviously that was my wake up call. That was life telling me, Jen, okay, you haven't listened to all these types of, you know, physical conditions that we've given you in your body or your headaches and whatnot. Uh, we're going to make you depressed. And I would just like work, 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 feel that depression. And then I'll be man down in bed for like nine days straight. I think that was my longest stint. And then I'll sort of come out of that for a few days, go straight back into that working habits, that bad sort of behavior of working. And then I'll go straight back down again. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so when the UK doctors told me what it was, it made more sense actually. But because I wasn't getting the right treatment out there, I was a little bit lost. It was quite a tough time. And then um, when I realized what it was, I, I didn't go down the tablet route. And I'm not against people taking antidepressants or anything like that. But for me, I just knew deep down rooted within it wasn't the option for me and that's when I really focused on my health um obviously I was fit anyway but it I wanted to do like a healthy approach to fitness not you know spinning too much as it were um and that's when I really looked into personal development and mindset I mean I think most startup entrepreneurs they are already are investing into themselves into books and and you know um the, the youtube channels that we can all find ourselves um subscribed to but for me i really went deep into personal development when i hit my depression mm-hmm. and i remember this one time when i was like really really deep down in my darkest day of depression and i just thought if i can feel like this 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 low this you know this, you know really really bad with it then surely i could get to the other end of the spectrum and feel like really happy and I, and I knew it was all about me but i didn't quite understand it was me that was giving me the depression it was ah oh, if anyone was been there or had depression before you know exactly what i'm trying to say ish um yeah so for me i had to turn my whole life around which i did it takes time obviously but it was about implementing the right natural resources so the cardio um that I, that I stuck to for the fitness side I really looked into my diet so I went vegan for like three months and I did a um, a vegetarian diet for another three months and you know I had to really sort of blitz it I, I was on tea so much as well tea gives you a headache so obviously caffeine I, I dropped tea and for those who really know me they everyone knows I love my tea so I dropped that I really just went into the whole health thing because I wanted to bounce back you know I missed my old self because I was me but I wasn't actually me yeah. So it took a while to get me back from that. And um, yeah, my my message now is that I think it's quite easily done being an entrepreneur, mm-hmm. uh, an offline business owner, that you can just work, work, work and not actually look after yourself. And you really need to try and, a bit of a cliche, we always hear it, but the balance of life is just so crucial. It's key, like in order to manage your business, to manage your health, to manage your life. You know, if you've got a yeah. successful business, your successful business needs you to be at your healthiest, at your best in order to run and, and operate effectively. So, yeah, it, yeah, your business is like a reflection of you, like an extension, isn't it, as they say. And uh, even though we did have great success out there in Shanghai, but behind the scenes, I wasn't well at all. So, yeah, that's my journey um, from burnout to breakthrough. And now I just see that there's another way of working. Online business is just... It, it can be for anyone of, of any walks of life. You could just be coming out of college or, you know, maybe considering um, choosing your, your, your career job after finishing university. Or you could be um, in your 60s, 70s, retired and you just want to start something new, you know, as your last project, possibly. Or for me, I just think I, I resonate more with offline business owners because I know how stressful it can be because it's like you've gone from possibly like the corporate um, arena which I was in and then I went into offline business and really essentially you've just bought yourself another job because you're still even though you haven't got a boss you are the boss but you are just still going to a uh, venue like a gym in my experience like a studio and you're still having to open up and you know get you know to where you need to be like you know five six days a week and um, you know you, you're quite trapped 
in that sort of lifestyle. So, yeah, I, I just want to now tell, for example, more so the offline business owners that you can transfer all those skills that you've learned offline and how you serve your clients to online. And the Internet just has so many possibilities. It's, it's amazing and great opportunity. So and um, did I answer that? I was really going off on one, wasn't I? <laughs> just don't know still how to handle the concept of fear I mean you know the whole cliche fear forwards but it's exactly that I mean I've been through some real terrible times with business and it's not a good place to be when business isn't going too well and again I can share my wisdom wisdom onto uh, my clients on stories there but um yeah people don't always adapt very well to change and um like having a baby <laughs> in your life and um, yeah. setting up anything new like an online business the analogy here it is like having a baby because you need to plan you need to like nest 
for this big change in your life. Um, you know um, all the positives of, of having a family, but they also do exhaust you. They, they do weigh you down in, in a good way. But the thing is, when you have children in particular, you grow so much as a person and your business grows you as a person as well. And you have to be mentally prepared. And I think a lot of people don't understand what it means to set up an online business, like the, um, the actual nuts and bolts and, and the mechanics of actually building and you know with my content I put out daily I want to give people more of an idea so then it sort of reduces that fear and it gives them more of, of a better insight on how to manage expectations about the whole online world I think people just don't know what they don't know and people just probably I don't think know enough about online business they might see all the results at the end um, for example obviously people can be making six figures Plus, you know, there are internet millionaires wherever you turn nowadays. But I think because people only are sold those results, they're sceptical. And I get that. And my sort of position where I am with me helping clients set up their first online business, I want to give them a window first into how do you actually get there? What's the journey from A to B? Because uh, I, I, even back in my day, I, I'm sure I've had a few thoughts like, well, you know, how, it, it can't be that easy just walking around in his Ferrari or driving around his Ferrari or always on holiday, that sort of thing. Like you would be, wouldn't you? But for me, I'm just like, well, no, this is what I do on a daily basis. And success is a discipline. And as long as you're looking after yourself and you know exactly what you're doing on a daily basis to grow, you know, you're watering your seeds every day. Um, or another analogy I like using is your bricks. You know, you've got to lay each brick down every single day to, you know, get your foundations correct to build your awesome online mansion and that's exactly what the blogging is all about and that's exactly what all the posts are and I, I, I'm not really all about you know the money because obviously the money is great what you can earn online because you're leveraging off and you multiply your your funnels and that's all great but for me it's just the journey and having kids you enjoy that child growing you as a person as for me as a mother and as I like enjoy the business growing me, it challenges me every single day. And I think that's a trait of the on, you know, of an offline or an online entrepreneur. It's like, we like change and we like challenges, but you don't have to be an entrepreneur to go online. And, you know, I think once you get your head around, you know, um, the whole fear of maybe starting something new and failing, I just think you have to fail. I've had failures in my life over, <laughs> over business, you know, hands up two up actually you know you have to really learn to embrace the failures and in fact if you're not failing um it's a sign that you're not trying and if you're not trying you're not in the game to win so therefore a failure is a sign that you're still on the path to to achieve what you want to achieve so keep failing because you're just one step closer to your goal and it's not everyone's goal to be making loads of money and you know traveling everywhere i mean I do travel a lot for my, my little boy, but um, not as much as what I used to before my hate, um, you know, before he was around. But not everyone wants to be, you know, traveling around and making loads of money. People just want to make a difference. And that's what I want to do, because there is another way of, of working. And I, I think online um, business is definitely the way forward. It's the future, because I can't even see. I mean, he can do whatever he wishes when he turns 18. I can do whatever he wants, you know, in, in college sort of like years. But um i just don't think everyone's going to be going to university the time he's 18 i just think everyone's going to be online anyway so if his mum can learn the online skills now then then i'm sure you know kids of the future would just be doing whatever they're going to be doing online all the time yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't think i don't think anyone's going to be going to university the way it's all working out now i went to uni and yeah i enjoyed uni to a certain point i learned quite a lot in business as well when I was at uni but you know you, you're looking at people who are teaching you these modules and they they haven't actually set up a business themselves and it just it, it baffles me really I just don't understand really the concept as much as what I used to when I did go to uni we're talking like 12 13 years ago now I think I'll get my uh, age right yeah um but yeah it's just uh yeah, just, just bite the bullet, fear forward, start up your online business and just have a have you know, just see what the what the opportunities are online. 
at the end of the day, we all live with internet. If you can't beat it, join it. <laughs> yeah, it's true, truly true. But also, I think one, one thing that could help a lot of people a lot to know as well is that on your journey to whatever goal you set for yourself, whether it is, you know, becoming uh, the, the, the next, whatever, the next Tony Robbins or like, you know, having a, a massive success online. Um, on that journey, aside from obviously the necessary uh, failures or the necessary challenges that everybody has to face, there's also a lot of wins along that, that path as well. And this is a thing that I often say to people who are, for example, in their jobs. Like, it doesn't mean that, like, obviously, there's plenty of people who just quit their job and went straight into business and really felt like this is the, the, way, the change that I want to make because it's insanity if you're thinking about or if you want to have change, you just keep on doing the same thing, right? But it, you don't per se have to do that it, that drastically. You can actually already start something on the side, like a side hustle or, you know, just starting everything to, to launch it uh, while you're still in your job as well. And then in the evening hours or whichever, you know, whichever time you have as spare time, you just work and hustle hard and create those results for yourself. And you'll see that you're getting those, those small results. You're making a sale here and there. And then all of a sudden you think like, hey, actually, this thing does work. <laughs> for me such till you come to a point where you say actually right now i don't need my job anymore i can actually full-time focus on this and then you massively scale it so i think that's also a good thing for a lot of people to know that it doesn't necessarily have to be okay right now it's zero and then it's a million and that's the only way that that the only thing that is there already the build up towards building your fan base maybe in the initial stage you have 10 people and you have 20 and then you have 50 and then you have 100 and then like all these steps already count towards something that you're building for yourself which will last your lifetime and i think with that in mind like everybody who's watching this right now who will be watching the replay really like jen said before you have to get started right now leverage this online space right now build your tribe right now go and click on the link and then get jen's training right now because i mean these things as soon as you, as soon as you make that mental decision like i want to go for this i want to make a change for myself and you understand that it's merely a fact of you saying, yes, I deserve this. I can do this. That's the only thing that matters. That's really the switch. That's the, the magic formula towards any person who's successful. It is just that moment when you say to yourself, yes, I believe in this. I can do this. And that's it. And then your whole vibration, if you're a spiritual person or your whole mentality or everything starts changing for you. Because then you realize, okay, it's just a consistency game and you can keep on showing up and then the results will come. But if you do not make that change for yourself, so, Chibari, can you still hear me? Yeah, oh. okay, yeah, so I, I had a call coming in, <laughs> so I don't know what. Oh, was. okay. <laughs> busy, busy. Hey, yeah, that's a great. <laughs> Uh, yeah, a great point that you were making just then, Shabal, and actually I, I released a blog a few days ago about this, but going back to the stress of things, in order to not work from a scarcity mindset, uh, mindset if you were interested in this whole online journey, either have three to six months worth of savings if you just want to go all in, uh, but if you haven't got that sort of luxury, um, and many of us maybe don't, then yeah, for, for sure, you can just slowly slot in the, um, the the daily habits of setting up an online business so you know obviously you would need to let go of like some social events and you know be quite disciplined at weekends and I would certainly recommend that you um, offer your online business at least part-time hours to start off with I mean full-time hours would be great but if you haven't got that sort of time because you're still in your career job or um, have your offline business or have a family for example um, then then yeah, it's, it's, it's certainly doable and to avoid that stress because at the end of the day, you want to be growing as your business grows. And if you were just like working around the clock, you know, like a headless chicken and you're not looking after yourself, you're not going to see the results. And yeah, obviously I've been there, so don't do what I've done. I'm here to, to prepare you uh, of what not to do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sorry, yeah. Uh, Jen. I'm quite a visual person. I can literally imagine a headless chicken like... <laughs> Yeah, that was me. <laughs> I wouldn't say literally, but, uh, you know, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And also, I think what takes time as well is just reorganizing your already existing busy life because we all need busy lives. Business makes you busy. Family makes you busy. 
having um, a partner that you live with makes you busy and obviously an, off, uh, an online business will make you busy so you have to be you've got to make sure it is the right decision for you and actually thank you for um, plugging that link I'll just give a little bit of a context around that so I mentioned earlier SFM six figure mentors so I actually looked into them four years ago I'm now with them again I'm one of their elite members um, so to give you like a really good idea you're actually going to be transferred to a mentor who actually uh, trained me and it's his workshop series um, and I would suggest to go um, through that link if um, you are a complete sort of newbie to the whole online you know, world, if you haven't got really much of an idea towards it. And for me, I also, um, as another part of my, my business, I offer like a one-to-one -one coaching service where I literally help you every step of the way, step-by-step, -step, like hand-held type uh, service. So if you actually do have an idea of who you want to help and you have a passion that you know you can put online then that that sort of coaching service will be where i can help you with and uh, yeah you can just contact me either by facebook um or email me jen at from com. so yeah nice cool yes everybody please do connect with this lady she's amazing like i said before she inspires me on a day-to-day -day basis and i think it's just <sighs> cool that you know, um, in, in the things that, that I enjoy doing as well, that I get to meet so many wonderful people all around the world, different countries, different backgrounds, different um, ideas, but all basically coming to the same foundation, which is helping people and allowing people to have that, that empowerment and those realization and the awareness that you can 100% create the life of your dreams. And you don't have to be stuck. You don't have to settle for whatever situation is currently bugging you. You can literally do whatever it is that you want as long as you decide and you take action. And if you do, then it can be really, really phenomenal, even though there are always challenges. And with whatever you're doing right now, you have challenges as well. So those are always part of life. They make you stronger. They make you, you know, so much more evolved. But at the end of the day, if you take action towards creating your goal and you have guidance from a person just like Jen, who's been through the process and who's literally there to help you and support you, then you, I would say just grab it with all hands, all feet, everything, because it will you to make that change for yourself and it's just magnificent so once more the jen thank you so much for your time thank you very much for thank you and sharing your journey you know your, your personal story because like like you were saying earlier as well is that you know everybody is, is probably going through something but you can actually turn whatever used to be your pain to your power such that you can inspire more and more people so thank you very much for being here and for those of thank you, you who are watching think do click the link uh, and check out what Jen has. It's amazing. I've, I've, you know, I've had the pleasure of working with her. So I can really, really, really recommend you guys. So thank you so much for being on, everybody, amazing people. And Jen, thanks once more. And we speak later today as well. Yes, we will do. Yeah, thank you very much. And thanks, everyone, for watching. <laughs>